ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. We want to welcome you to the broadcast today, folks. It's uh, Thursday, September the 1st, 2022. Happy September, and uh, August is gone, and you know what that means in September, at least in North Carolina. It won't be long before things will begin to cool off just a little bit, and fall is just around the corner, so... Anyway, great to see you today. I hope you're having a great day, a great Thursday. We're so thankful for what the Lord did last night in our I Love America revival. It was a great, great meeting, and we just thank God and we praise God for that. If you were a part, you know what I'm talking about. It's been a great few days, and for that, we're very, very thankful. Listen, I want to encourage you, if you would right now, to like and share the broadcast. The more you do that, the more the message of the gospel is going to get out. We say that almost every day, but um, but it's so true. And occasionally we have new folks tuning in. And so if you would reach down right now, hit that like button and also share right now, that would be great. Also, please comment. Let us know you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from, especially if you're watching from outside uh, of our immediate area. We're coming to you from Right here in the pastor study, uh, my, my, our home is in Statesville. Our church is in Union Grove. And, uh, and so we're coming uh, to you from the beautiful state of North Carolina. And um, so anyway, we're, uh, we're just glad to have you today. We're thankful for what God is doing at Calvary Baptist Church. And also we're thankful for how God is using the countdown ministry. And not just here, but uh, literally all across, really all across much of the United States. And... Um, we just recently were able to uh, go on the air uh, in Mobile, Alabama, um, and we're so thankful for that. We have the opportunity to possibly go into Bakersfield, California very, very soon. And so just praying and seeking the Lord's will, and so you help us pray if you will. We would appreciate that very, very much. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to uh, recognize those that are tuning in. Then we're going to mention a giveaway and then we'll get into an extremely brief lesson today. So that, uh, that, that sounds like a plan. So again, it's great to have you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see here today real quickly. It looks like Karen Hoffman's with me today. And at least on my end, it looks like Karen tuned in first. And so Karen, hey, we love you and appreciate you. And it's good to see you on Countdown today. God bless you. Uh, there's the Hooks watching from Morganton, North Carolina. Barry, Christine, we count you as dear friends. And it's good to see you guys today. God bless you. There's Brother Mike Hill. Hello, Brother Mike. Good to see you today. Hope you're having a good day today. And uh, sure enjoyed getting to shake your hand last night, Brother Mike. God bless you. There's Carrie Painter. Hello, Carrie. Hope you and the girls and Brother Timmy are having a great day today. Judy Connors watching. Hello, Judy. Good to see you today. It was great to see your daughter and your grandsons with you last night. And Judy, it's good to see you on Countdown today. Thank you for tuning in today. Almeida Campbell, hello, Miss Almeida. Thanks for being such a, uh, a faithful part of our Countdown family. God bless you. There's Terry Stillman. Hello, Terry. Hope you're having a great day today. You and uh, Russell, thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Lee Hoots is watching. Hello, Lee. I hope you're having a great day today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Twana Campbell's watching. Hello, Twana. Good to see you. I hope you and Tony are blessed and having a good day. Uh, Twana's watching from down around the Lexington, North Carolina area. There is Patsy Bird coming in from Harmony. Hello, Patsy. Hope you and Ronnie are blessed and having a, a great day today. Uh, Carrie says, enjoying ice cream at the roost with the birthday girl. <laughs> okay, so uh, enjoy the ice cream. And I'm guessing that means that Meredith is with you. And so... Everyone help me help me uh, congratulate Meredith on her happy birthday. So happy birthday, Meredith. You're a sweet little girl, and we appreciate that very, very much. Let's see here. Looking really fast. Rose Blue's watching. Hello, Rose. Hope you and Rachel are 
having a great day. I was praying for you and Rachel earlier today. It's good to see you, uh, Drake and Caitlin Campbell. And I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's Drake or Caitlin or both or, or, but who it is. But hey, we sure appreciate the uh, the uh, Campbells and Drake and Caitlin and Adeline and Haven. And we love you guys. And it's good to see you today. Uh, there's Joyce Jones. She says, "Happy Thursday." Jerry and I are listening. Hello, Joyce and Jerry. And we welcome you guys aboard today. It's so good to see you. God bless you. There's Sarah Fleming. Hello, Miss Sarah. Thank you for being back on the broadcast with us today. God bless you. Christine Edwards is watching today. Christine, we missed you in revival this week, and I hope you're feeling better. And uh, it was good to see Gary last night. And uh, hey, Christine, welcome aboard. God bless you. There's Simon Wanjahi watching from Kenya. Simon, bless you, my friend. Good to see you today. And hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day day, which was probably evening there in, in Kenya, isn't it? And so Simon, welcome aboard today. Debbie Johnson is watching. She says, good afternoon. All so blessed. Amen, Debbie. Good to see you today. And I think Debbie's watching from up around the East Bend, North Carolina area. And so Debbie, welcome back. It's good to see you on here today. God bless you. Uh, Rodney Tomlin. Hello, Brother Rodney. Good to see you. Hope you and Allison are just having a just an incredible day today. And we appreciate both of you in a big way. There's Chuck Campbell. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for tuning in today. It was great to see you last night. Um, Angel Caldwell's watching. Angel, good to see you today. Was praying for you and the family earlier this morning. Angel, good to see you. Uh, Samuel Pope. Hey, there's my, my youngest son just tuned in. Samuel, good to see you today. Hope you and Becca and uh, Barrett are having a great day. It's good to Good to see y'all. Um, well, listen, that's some of the ones that I can see. And uh, if you're just now tuning in, be sure that you comment. And then all of our Countdown family, help me uh, welcome folks aboard as they're coming on. If you would, we would appreciate that very, very much. Hey, we are promoting a giveaway this week. We're promoting, of course, uh, a $10 store credit coupon for Common Grounds Bookstore there at Calvary. And I was just, you know, I was in there last night. Folks were fellowshipping, and I was just looking around at, uh, you know, some of the things that we have in there, some wonderful, wonderful quality Bibles and a lot of great books and resources and what we call church merch, uh, shirts and different things that have our Calvary uh, emblem on there and our Calvary name. And so uh, anyway, if you'd like the opportunity to get involved in the giveaway right now, I need you to reach down and just like and share. Be sure you share. Uh, that's a clincher. And Lord willing, tomorrow, my beautiful little redhead will get those names together of those who have shared the broadcast, and uh, we'll draw out of those names for this $10 store credit coupon at Common Grounds Bookstore. And so I hope that you'll uh, get involved in the giveaway today. Well, we're looking forward to uh, Sunday, and so you be praying for uh, this coming Lord's Day, if you will. We're talking about growing in the Lord. Uh, specifically how you and I can have um, a, a good relationship with our Heavenly Father. What are some ways that we can do that? What are some ways that we can build that relationship with God? Some ways that, that we can grow as a, as a Christian, grow as a, growing as a child of God? Well, we said number one, to grow, first of all, you must emerge in birth. There needs to be a new birth that takes place. And of course, we're talking about salvation. Then we said to grow, you must eat right. You've got to eat right. And we're talking about, uh, we're using a, a physical analogy to try to teach something spiritual. And just like it's important that you eat right physically, it's important that you eat right spiritually. And so you must eat right. But let's go a step further today. Number number next is this, to, to grow you and I must exercise. We must exercise. Now, let me give you some great, great scriptures today. And if you're taking notes, just jot these down. And I want to encourage you to go back later on in your devotions and study these out. But listen to what our Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter number 10 and verse number 18. The Bible says, but much by much slothfulness, the building decayeth. And through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. Now, that's such a great verse. And I want, in fact, I want to read it again if I could. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10, 18, the Bible says, by much slothfulness, the building decayeth 
and through idleness of the hands, the house droppeth through. In other words, in other words, if you don't continuously work at keeping your house up and taking care of your house, if you just let it go, let it go to pot, you know, we say here in North Carolina, you know what's going to happen eventually? Your roof's going to fall through, the building's going to decay, it's going to fall apart. And what does that mean? That means if you're going to have a nice place, you've got to make sure that you take care of the roof, you've got to make sure that you keep the, the, the yard mowed, you've got to make sure that if you've got foundation issues, that you get them resolved. Um, you've got to make sure that you fix that broken window, that you uh, fix that door that might be off the hinge. But if you don't do that, uh, if, if you're lacking activity, that eventually, eventually that building is, is going to decay and it's going to fall in. Now, listen to what Proverbs 21 and verse number 25 says. The Bible says there, the desire of the slothful killeth him. But his, uh, for his hands refuse to labor. Again, there's that idea of a lack of activity. Uh, now, let me give you another great proverb here. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 30 through 34. Listen very closely to this. If you're driving down the road, just listen and meditate on this today. The Bible says, the, 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 the writer of the proverb says this, I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns and nettles had covered the face thereof and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Now listen to this. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as, as an armed man. Now again, I'm just trying to make a point with scriptures today, and the point that I'm trying to make is this, and this is what the Word of God is trying to teach us today that a lack of activity results in weakness and in breaking down. That's what the Bible's teaching there. A lack of activity. Uh, if, if we're going to build something up, including ourselves, there's going to have to be some activity that's involved. If we're lazy, if we're slothful, uh, if we're uh, uh, uninvolved, uh, then little by little, whatever we're, we're dealing with is going to come falling down. And so a lack of activity results in weakness and breaking down. Now, again, we're talking about, of course, growing uh, as a child of God. If you and I are going to grow in our Christian life, man, this is so simple. In fact, it's so simple. If you and I are not careful, we'll miss it. If we're going to grow in our Christian life, we must be active. We've got to exercise. And that's what we're that's what we're teaching today. Listen, you can't be a couch potato and expect to grow physically like you should. Now, uh, unfortunately, in our nation, we've got a lot of couch potatoes, but let's go a step further than that. Also, unfortunately, in our churches today, we have a lot of pew potatoes. And by that, I mean this. We have a lot of Christians that, claim to be born again, and yet they are very, very inactive as a Christian. They're not involved. They're not getting exercise as a child of God. And because they're failing to exercise, they're not growing in their Christian life. We as Christians need exercise. Hey, how many remember this? No pain, no gain. Uh, that's a little catchphrase that's used oftentimes at the gym and the workout centers. No pain, no gain. If you and I don't work out, if we don't experience some pain in activity, then we're not going to gain uh, in, our, uh, in our spiritual growth and our physical growth either. And so exercise. And you say, Pastor, what in the world are you talking about when you're talking about exercising spiritually? Well, how about this? Sunday morning at 945 is exercise time. Uh, people say, well, I don't need Sunday school. Well, I want to say, yes, you do. You need all the exercise that you can get in. And in my opinion, that's what happens at 945 at Calvary Baptist Church during Sunday school. That's exercise time. That's time for us to get involved, to get active in the Word of God, active in fellowship, active in engaging our minds, in studying the Word of God and listening to the Word of God being taught. Listen, at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, that's exercise time. 
uh, 6 o'clock on Sunday night. That's exercise time. Now, here's the thing. A lot of times the flesh doesn't want to exercise. Sometimes the, this old man doesn't want to exercise. And that's why it's very important that on Sunday night, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, we push ourselves. Why? Because no pain, no gain. Someone says, Pastor, why did Calvary Baptist Church have the I Love America revival? Um, you know why? You, you know why the I Love America revival was so, so important? Because it was exercise time. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. You know what we were doing? We were pushing ourselves to be active, to be engaged in fellowship, to be engaged in music and singing and psalms and hymns and spiritual psalms. We were pushing ourselves to be engaged in the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God. Now, why is that so important? Because that exercise helps us to grow in our Christian life. Listen to me. I love you today. A lot of folks may say, preacher, I just can't have a good relationship with my Heavenly Father. And I want to say very lovingly, yes, you can. You can grow in your walk with God and your relationship with God, but it's going to require some exercise. You can't sit on your hands, spiritually speaking, all day long and all night long and every week, week in, week out, and expect to grow as a child of God. It's not going to happen. You've got to push yourself to exercise, spiritually speaking. Well, hey, listen, I hope that's made sense today. I hope that's been a blessing. And we just put our prayer helpline on the screen today. Thank the Lord. We've had folks call this week on the prayer helpline. We're thankful for that. 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast today and we can help you, I hope you'll call. If you're watching today and you don't know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to uh, I want to encourage you right now to reach for your phone. Call that number. If no one answers immediately, be sure that you leave a callback number so we can call you back and share the Lord with you. And then all of our countdown family, don't forget, okay? Be kind to everyone today because everyone's having a tough time. Thanks for tuning in today. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great Thursday. God bless you and take care.